everyone's favorite segment of the week, Fetch Me a Home. And we have Fetching Hope Rescue in the house today when Julie and Betty are in. You guys, thank you so much for coming Hello, in. Yeah. Betty Whoa. is this one, by yeah, the way. Betty, <laughs> Betty is the one in the arms. Yeah, Betty is uh, an adorable Hi. puppy. Wendy uh, is holding uh, her. How'd you come to have Betty? So I have Betty and her sister Cheryl, who's home sleeping. Um, we thought it would be good just to take the one. Yeah. <laughs> Lucky she doesn't Cheryl. look too happy yeah. about it. <laughs> She's not very happy either. Uh, so um, a Cheryl, a Cheryl and Betty are about three months old. Um, they were abandoned, so we, of course, our, our wonderful uh, shelter in Arkansas found them. And there were actually, um, there's four of them. And uh, so I've got the two sisters. Oh. And um, she's very shy, I will tell you that. She actually is the more outgoing of the two. Um, but she is so sweet and she's really smart. She's already sitting, she scratches to go outside, um, <laughs> and she loves to be photographed. Yeah, I was going to say, she is the, she, this is the most awake she's been, <laughs> looking at the camera. Yeah, I know, uh, my mama trains me well. <laughs> uh, oh, well, she's so sweet. I don't know how you can abandon a puppy like that. They're yeah. so beautiful. Yeah. Um, so you guys wanted to talk about a food drive that you just had that helps your organization. It, yes. Unbelievable. Go it for it, Julie. It was a huge success. So, our, um, our director um, decided that she was going to get together some food. I mean, our, our shelter goes through hundreds and hundreds of pounds of food every week. And so she started this food drive, um, got herself a trailer, and filled it up with over 3,000 pounds of food wow. and drove it to Arkansas. Arkansas. <laughs> yep. And so, I mean, they had, I think it was like 3,500 and just so much food. And so we had a lot of help from the community, a lot of help from some of the local businesses. And it was just, um, just an amazing thing to see. I mean, it started out, you know, maybe I can put some in my pickup truck mm -hmm. and drive down all of a sudden, boom, you've got 3,000 pounds of food. That's so amazing. yeah, so we're, we're very, very happy with that. And it was um, just a really, huge thing to help our partner shelter in Arkansas that does such a great job, you know, saving these dogs and getting them ready for us. What about so. your network here? Um, you have a lot of foster uh, homes. Tell us a little bit about that. We actually need a lot of foster homes. Oh, you need more? Homes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. You need even yeah. more. And the fostering, it's so important. I mean, a little dog like Betty might not ever find a home. She might grow up in the shelter um, down in Arkansas just because there are so many dogs and not as many adopters. That's such a sad thought. Yeah. It's so it sad. is, but once is. they come up here, it's a completely different story. And we've had dogs who have been in the shelter down there for, I and mean, one I remember was, was there for four years. Oh. She came up here and in two weeks she'd found herself a new oh. home. So, I mean, that's how important fostering is. It, it literally saves their lives and then it frees up space so they can save more dogs down there. So it's extremely important. And please, please, please go on our website, fetchinghope.com and find out more about fostering. And right. I believe yeah. we have your Facebook page uh, Our Facebook up here, page right. also has information. Okay. Probably every other post says, please foster. <laughs> <laughs> and if anybody's interested in adopting yes. Betty, is that how they can find information yes. on that as well? Yes. Great. Yep. You can contact us either way. Absolutely. I don't think she'll have any trouble <laughs> <laughs> yes. Finding a forever home, that yeah. sweet face. Well, yeah. we appreciate you uh, helping us out and spreading the word because it's so important. There are so many dogs that need homes. So save a life, yeah. save a dog. And mm. speaking of that, we actually have another dog up for adoption right now. Meet Silene. She's currently at Mid Coast Humane in Brunswick. Wow. There's some video that was sent in. Silene has been that. waiting for a home since January 20th, 2018, and is the longest term resident there. Aww, she's a three-year-old, loves a belly rub. Knows how to sit, give paw, and roll over. Yeah. Such a smarty. Yes. We recommend a home with a yard to run around and play fetch with no young children or cats. And staffers say it's her, her absolute favorite thing to do is to be tucked in her bed with a comfy blanket. That is so sweet. I bet you that's what Betty wants to do. Right now. <laughs> I know, right? She was wondering why you took her out of the blankets. Betty was wrapped up in a big comforter this morning. <laughs> <laughs> well, Wendy, Julie, and Betty, thank you so much. So much. Thank, thank you, you so much for coming in today, and we'll post more information about how you could adopt Betty uh, on our website, newcentermain.com, in a little bit.